Hello everybody, this is Wireless Atari. So this is going to be a double whammy. Uh, totally a triple whammy. Because I already videotaped most of the stuff before, but then I ended up deleting one of the videos. The other one I just forgot to post and was from a while ago, so I'm including that in here as well. Uh, basically I'm just going to remake the video. Which is a bummer because it wasn't pretty good because I wasn't rambling too much like I am now. And I was kind of throwing in jokes there from time to time, which is always good. Lightens up the spirits of those who need to be lightened up, I guess. But yeah, I wasn't as ADHD then as I am feeling kind of right now. So yeah, let's try to avoid the ADHD. Um, I didn't even set up all this shit. I'll just have to pause it in a second. Okay. Um... Well, first of all, we'll start with all the stuff that was in that previous video that I forgot to post. And I just don't want to post it at all right now. So I'm clearing it with this video. This is a two-button mouse. It's actually pretty neat. It doesn't scroll, obviously, but it's still pretty cool. And there's the little, I guess you could call it box or package with it. That was two bucks. Over there, not sure if you can see that. These are speaker monitor speakers. I think there's one on that side, and maybe not, but no, there's two of them. I don't know where the other one is right now, um, unless it's underneath the table. Um, but um, yeah, I can't get them to work. They probably do work. I just don't know how to use them. So yeah. Hold on a second. Alright. So this is it all of it. Um but it's most of it. It's um it's most of it. I think we got all the video games from that video. And most of the tapes that I got there. And the monitor. We'll show you the monitor first. This is a um, Samsung, I think it's LCD monitor. It's pretty good, pretty high quality. I don't really use it anymore. Not too much, anyway. Um, it was eight bucks. Not too bad. It works and everything, so it's from like 2006. I don't know the quality of it, but it's pretty good for my computer which was made in like 2000 so all right then we got tapes these are only some of them this is maybe half of them I only had like four or three or four total I just can't find the other ones right now so this is mostly like the overview of the last video but um dirty dancing the soundtrack and Batman soundtrack I could try to I think it was Reba McIntyre, the other ones were Reba McIntyre, Merry Christmas to You, which Merry Reba McIntyre is pretty cool. Um, and then the other one was Pat Benatar, True Love. And I don't know where those ones are right now. So There's those. They have video games. Again, I can't find the case for this, which is a bummer, but it mainly hangs out in my computer anywhere. Anyway, for a quick time waster. Um, Diablo, Windows 95, CD-ROM, obviously. Star Wars Masters of the Masters of Terror's Kazai, or something like that. This is one of the like the worst Star Wars games, probably. But it's all worth it to see Mark Hamill's face, that handsome devil. Um, this was five bucks. By the way, I forget how much that was. Probably three. Five bucks. This was five bucks. Battle Tanks Global Assault. Usually I wouldn't pick these up like this. They are in pretty good condition. I think all these are complete in box. Or complete in their cases. Besides that. Um, Diablo one. Although the case might have the manual too. Um, but normally I would pick these up half off when they're 250 But anyway. The Dukes of Hazard. Racing for Home. Driver 3. This one was three bucks. Same as this. Three bucks, still come to US Navy SEALs. 
so yeah there's that and now we're going to go over the other stuff so see you in a minute all right so first of all there's eight track player i'm going to downsize my eight track uh player size because um the one over there is kind of behind there over there you can't see it but um it's really big and heavy this one's a lot more compact although it does have a big giant speaker with it which i guess is good however it's the other one's just really big and it needs speakers still and it's already that size so the whole entire thing it's about that size probably even more and it's older than that too it's from like 1975 I don't know when this is from, but this was five bucks, and I was like, you know what? Hell yeah, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> um, over here we'll start with, you know, non-gaming stuff just to get that out of the way. Well, this is technically gaming stuff. Um, that one, that thing is. Aha, uh -huh. hunting high and low. This has take on me on it, so that's why it's not even in here. I've been listening to that like crazy. The Best of Rod Stewart Volume 2. I'm going to go see Rod Stewart in August of this year. So that's awesome. Along with Cindy Lauper. Same concert. A Rock and Roll Collection of Buddy Holly. Uh, I don't really know anything about Buddy Holly, but that looks cool. So I fucked it up. Real Men of Genius. Bud Light. Volumes 1, 2, and 3. It's awesome they made this. However, it says 60 on it. 60 of them of the ads it's actually only 40 because it ha this one's working fine well I haven't actually tested them but it has this in good condition disc one's in good condition disc two's in good condition disc two or no disc three is in good condition but disc two has a big old freaking crack on it see that right there it sucks but it's still cool have all that it's hilarious if you, if you know where one of these are pick them up or if you have one lying around in your basement and you completely forgot about it these things are hilarious they're hysterical it's good for a quick laugh um, so yeah oh right. you showed that stuff um B chest tapes We have here Revenge of the Nerds 2, Nerds in Paradise. Uh, by the way, I should be mentioning how much I got these for. These were probably 50 cents each. The DVD was probably a dollar. Or the CD was probably a dollar. Revenge of the Nerds 2, Nerds in Paradise was... Uh, uh, these were 50, 49 cents or something random each. Outland, Sandlot 2, Friday... Gremlins, Dumb and Dumber, uh, National Lampoon's Vacation, which is semi-sealed. It just has enough. It was just slit enough to have that out. Best Picture, or no? Wait, no, that's not it. <laughs> Platoon and Goodfellas. All right, there's all the VHS tapes. Now to the games. This isn't in here yet anymore. It was when I videotaped it, or, re or recorded it, I should say, trying to keep up with the times. Um, the Wii 2 HDMI converter does full 1080p, supposedly, and um, it's really cool. I put it in the back of my Wii. That's pretty much where it is now. Although, actually, my friend's borrowing my Wii right now, so it's actually just sitting on the, f on the floor, but it's still hooked up so to the HDMI cable. Uh, basically this is just an adapter that goes in the back of your Wii, and you put an HDMI, co HDMI cord in the other side, it goes into the AV port of the Wii, and then on the other side you'll put an HDMI cord going to the TV, obviously, and there you go, you're doing 1080p on your Wii, which is awesome, because the Wii sucks when it comes to graphics. Now as to the video games, these are from different places, I don't think I have the prices on all of them, any of them anymore, I'll try to remember. Basically, here, let me do something real quick. There we go. 
Um, so these were individually priced. This one I think was like seven or eight bucks. Untold Legends Brotherhood of the Blade for PSP. Blazing Dragons, starring the voices of Terry Jones and Cheech Marin. Terry Jones is uh, most widely recognized as the is the um, one of the members of Monty Python. I love Monty Python; they're hilarious. And this is a hidden gem as well. I mean, you could catch on to that kind of humor, and I'm rambling on a little bit, but it says, The Knights of Pathological Liar, Rapunzel's Schizophrenic, Forget the Sword, Bring a Psychiatrist. So. <laughs> um, and I put out those four for a second. Uh, uh, well, you'll you'll see in a minute. Um, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. This was 17 or 16 bucks or something. Cladden Returns. This is Sengoku. I think this was 15 or 12 or something. Killzone Shadowfall, this was 10 and obviously that's for the PS1, this is for the PS, these three are for the PS4, and so is this one. This was 21 bucks on Amazon, I ordered it with Amazon Prime. Wolfenstein, The Old Blood, that's pretty cool. So there's all that. And now we have the four games for 20 bucks steal. This is from GameStop, I got from yesterday, just yesterday. These were all $9.99. I tried to get all $9.99 ones. So therefore I would save half. Because the deal was four games under ten bucks. Or at least ten bucks. I guess $9.99. So four games that were $9.99 or under. Total would be twenty bucks plus tax. So this was like $21.97 total for all three of these games. Whereas on a normal day it would have been like forty something bucks. PlayStation All-Star Battle Royal for the PS Vita. Uh, Persona 4 Arena for the PS3. And for the Wii U. I know I don't have a Wii U, but I'm planning on getting one. Lego City Undercover. Heard that's a pretty good one. And Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. So, heard that one's pretty good too. Uh, and those are both on the Wii U. So yeah, I kind of plowed through all this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.